Hello, hello, hello! Uh, <laughs> you guys have actually asked for these kind of videos, and I haven't done them in probably a year and a half, maybe two years. Yeah, that is right. That is an underwater pool video this time, except we're gonna have like uh, Steven down there just like moving or doing Steven things in the water. I don't really exactly know. Usually I just like put, see that cone right there? I just put a clamp on the tip of that cone. Yes, it's still in my backyard from two years ago. I would put a clip on the end of that cone and I would just flip baits to it or swim by it, or that's pretty much all I do with a GoPro in the water. This is the original rod from that video like actually this is the original rod from my channel literally steven should we give the original rod away oh i'm saying i'm talking the original rod from it's gotta be crazy. Like, like three years ago i'm talking like the number one rod from doing the underwater videos that started this channel should we give it away hmm i usually say hey leave a comment down below i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna do something crazy for y'all before we get into this underwater video i'm going to give away the rod that started this channel. I cannot believe I'm saying that out loud right now. But go ahead and leave a comment below, but you gotta tell me which one of your favorite Guggen baits is your favorite? I'm talking style, not the kind. Like trench hog, is a trench hog your favorite? I'm not talking about like color. I'm talking about Slim Shake, trench hog, bandito bug. You guys tell me in the comment down below. I will select a random winner and you'll get the original rod from this channel. By the way, you know what, Steven, just go ahead and hold this. I'm gonna show them something. The disclaimer, it's, uh, it's broken on me. A tip. It's basically just for nostalgia. Watch this. You ready? You ready? This is the rod I bought. I was actually, I think it was like 2011. I bought this maybe 2011 or 2012 or some, I don't know, after I came back from Afghanistan. That's the only reason why I bought it. It's because it floats. <laughs> that was it. Literally looked. Okay. Anyway, right, let's get, let's roll into today's video. Okay, so we got the Trench Hog, Dragon Drop, Mondo Worm, Slim Shake, Bandito Bug, and Crack and Crawl. That's pretty much kind of the order we're gonna we're gonna deal with i'm gonna show you guys the weight i'm gonna use the hook i'm gonna use and honestly the line 15 pound flora that's what we're gonna that's pretty much the ideal i'm gonna tell you guys right now what the crack and crawl depend on the situation you guys will learn if you're flipping brush like straight up brush trees buck brush stuff that kind of stuff 25 pound test all day long not 20 25 pay the extra couple bucks 25 pound test i'm telling you when you're flipping trees with either the bandito bug the crack and crawl maybe the trench hog if you if you break it down a certain way but that's that's pretty much the deal all right here we go out the gate trench hog good good start that's that's how you know you have a sharp hook is when it just sticks right into your skin all right oh yeah look at that oh. So when you guys get the trench hog, the first thing you gotta think of is popping off every single one of these appendages, all six of them. Yes, two small, or excuse me, four small ones, and then two big ones. Look at that, oh. Sorry about the squeaking. This, this bait right here, I'm telling you folks, it's a Mondo Slayer. This is what you want right here. You gotta roll it. See how I'm rolling it? Look at that. Roll, roll, roll until it touches, and then shagunk. Look at that. Do I need to do I need to show them again how to re-roll? Take your bait. When you put it on just like this and roll it. Look at that. Shagunk weedless. Look how good that looks. Oh god. Okay. You guys ready? Texas rigged. You can also Carolina rig, it's gonna be the same deal. Carolina rig, Texas rig, flipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that there. If you guys wanna grab any of these Guggen baits, go ahead, they'll be linked to the very top of the description. There's very limited quantities right now because we're trying to catch up on all the orders. But right now, if you order Guggen baits, they'll be shipped out next day, 100%. Shipped out to you next day, that is. Steven, you ready, buddy? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, look at that action. It gets me going every time I see this thing. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, look at that. A couple different ways I would throw is going to text the rig. You only take it and you're just going to drag it just like this. Just drag that sucker. Oh, I pop. Whew. That is good looking. Big bait, big fish. Flip it in there. You guys can flip it in the bushes. You guys can do just about anything you would do with a Texas rig. I'm gonna drag it right here for you guys. Look at this. Oh, oh yes. Look, gosh, look at those appendages moving. So you guys can actually take this thing and break it down just a, a little bit. You guys can take like three inches off this big one and you guys can swim it. Look at that thing swimming. 
I tell you right now, flip that sucker in there and just let it fall. A lot of times I'll actually do this thing and I'll actually just throw it without a weight. No weight whatsoever. I'm talking like just straight up hook and plastic. And it just falls so succulently, those back pendages. Gosh dang, look at that thing. Oh my God, look at that in the water. Whew. Letting all those appendages do their work as they just go down nice and slow. Nice and slow. If the bite is real finicky, like a real finicky bite, that's what I'm talking about. That's when you want to go weightless on this big bait right here. Whew. I'm telling you guys right now, you guys get next to pads, thick grass lines. You throw out a Mondo worm, a trench hog, a bandito bug weightless. Just let it go and then pop it a couple times. Just pop it. Just look. Da, 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 da. Next to that grass line, let that grass line be your friend. Fish are sitting on the edge of that grass and they've got their face out. Those fish have their face out looking for something to come by and just munch on. You know what I mean? And when you pitch that, that, that bait in weightless and you've got the legs just coming in like that, let it sink for a second, give it like three to four to five seconds weightless and just like that forward. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Let it sink a little bit more. Look at that, oh my God, that is deadly. So I'm telling you guys right now, if you guys were not thinking that a trench hog weightless would work, just imagine a, 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 a body of water just, I'm talking full of pads, full of grass, full of heist, like anything you could possibly think of that's underneath the water, like grass, what vegetation was. You throw this thing weightless in there, it does not matter. You let it sink down, you pop it forward, you reel it forward just a little bit. I'm telling you, it's going to get crushed. It's gonna get crushed. Actually, the matter of fact, in the video from the other day, I was using a big, like six aught, thick, thick gauged EWG and throwing a a um, mondo worm and letting it, let, letting the hook do all, letting the hook be the weight and everything. I'm telling you, it was getting crushed. That's all you gotta do. Anyway, if you guys wanna grab any type of Guggen baits you guys are about to see, you can grab them at the very top of the description. They'll be linked right there. There's very limited quantities of, of certain colors right now because we're trying to get caught up, but they'll be shipped out, like I said, direct. I'm very biased because we spent a lot of time on these. Let's move on to the next one, Steven. Let's move on. I'm ready. I got this fly that won't stop bothering me. Hatsa! All right, next up is the old Mondo worm. We're gonna throw it weighted, Texas rigged. Once again, this is this is a five aught worm hook, by the way. It's It's got thick gauge wire. I know in the video from the other day, I was actually using an EWG like this right here. Actually, it still has all the gunk still on it. That's the EWG I was using. I was throwing a weightless through pads and, and such. I'm, I'm, I'll show it again. I'm telling you guys, this bait right here, curl tail worm through through pads, through thick grass, to throw weightless on the edge of it. The, the bass literally have their face pointed outwards looking for stuff to swim by. That's when they just, it. Out the gate though, we're gonna show it weighted. Sorry. Can't get over that squeakiness. It's, it's getting to me, don't worry. Look at that package. I don't, I, I, I don't wanna say I'm biased, but I'm pretty positive. We have the best packaging the best baits, the best scent. When those bass bite onto it, they're gonna hold on. I, I, I promise you. All right, you ready for this? Woo! Woo! So I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, Rob's being so biased. I remember these old, old underwater videos. Okay, guys, I'm telling you right now, we spent so long creating these baits. Yes, I'm gonna have a little bit of bias towards them because I really honestly, think they were the best like I'm not just saying that just cuz I think they're the best in the world and it, hey gonna throw it out there that's pretty much the deal Mondo worm you ready oh. dude you cannot tell me oh that is killer look at that Oof. it gives you chills uh, if you guys do not have Mondo worms you need them in your arsenal I'm telling you, look at that. Oh my gosh. Just take it, just pop it. Just pop it up a little bit, let it go to the bottom. That tail sticks up and just really in your slack, pop. Look at that. That is deadly, deadly, deadly. 
So I'm telling you guys right now, on this worm, there's a phalange right here on the back. I'm telling you right there, that thing collects water and it literally goes, shh, makes the tail go like this in the water. So you guys can tell you that thing, and when you guys flip it in the water, that tail just shh, shh, all the way down. You guys see that? That's a crazy ball. And then you can take it and just shh, 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 pop it all the way up and let it go all the way down the tail. All the way is doing this because of that phalange on the back. Woo! I'm telling you right now, look at that thing right there. Okay. I'll let the thing go weightless. I'm telling you right now, this and the trench hog, put a bigger hook on there, go weightless, and throw it between the pads, the grass, and whatever there is. Like say if you're in Florida or Texas, southern states, or maybe in northern states, later part of the summertime, when those, those bass, like I said, they had their face pointed out, pitch it in there, you'll smoke them every time. Okay, so a lot of you guys are probably thinking, why would you throw a weightless if you had like a light weight on there in the first place? Weightless, like this, it's literally just a hook and a worm. Common sense, all right? There's a reason why I would throw it like this. There's grass. Grass and tungsten or lead, they don't, they don't really go together. So when you have like, when you have this hook right here, so you got the hook and you put a lead weight or a tungsten weight above it, there's gonna be a gap in between if you don't peg it. But the thing is, if you peg it, then it flows all together when it goes down, and you want this thing to flow naturally. There's a bunch of different ways. So I'd rather just get a big hook and a worm and throw that sucker next to the grass and let it fall naturally down, down without a weight. But if you throw a weight on the front, there's gonna be a gap and the grass is gonna get hooked on in between them. It's just a, it's just a pain. You just, I'm, t I'm telling you, big hook like this and a big worm gets big bites. Oh, look how slow the tail action is weightless. Woo. Look at that. All you do is pop it. Look at that. Arr, gets me going every time I look at that. So if you guys were to get into some, some pads, say you guys are working pads or thick grass, you guys are going to take our curly tailed Mondo worm. You're going to flip it in between the pads, let it sink. I don't know, three, four seconds and just pop it. Just pop it. Just like this. That's it, that's all you gotta do. And it's just and then it goes I'm telling you guys, just as good or a better than a swim bait. But the thing about this is bigger than of course than a swim bait. Swim baits are like four and a half, five inches, ten inches of just straight mondoness. I'm gonna do it one more time just because I need these people to know it's all about the swimming action. Look at that. Mmm, tasty, tasty. Not Steven, but the bait. Next up, what do we have next up? What do you, what do you want to do, bandito bug? Uh, what do you think? Bandito bug, trench hog? Oh no, we already did trench hog. Bandito bug, bandito. you want to do bandito? Okay, sure. all right, we'll do bandito next. So if I was gonna normally throw the bandito bug, I will 100% of the time, well, you know what, I won't say 100%, but I'll say like 95. 95% of the time I'm gonna peg it. 95% of the time I'm gonna peg it just like so. We're gonna peg it and then I'm gonna take, uh, can I get it out there? There we go, flipping hook, or excuse me, flipping weight. There we go. And then I'm gonna take a flipping hook. So what I'm gonna tie is a snail knot. Would you guys know, you guys go through the front of the hook. I'm not gonna teach you how to do a snail knot, but come on, there we go. I'm gonna tie a snail knot. There's a reason why is because when you guys set the hook, the hook bends up like this and goes into the fish's face. That's pretty much the deal with the snail knot. That's what I'm going to uh, tie when it comes to throwing the bandito bug when I'm flipping. So the big thing about a snail knot is when you guys get the peg in, see what I mean? Like, look at this. You guys push the peg down, look at what the hook does. Like I said, it curls up. Sorry once again about this noise. I know it's very annoying. It's the reason why we're doing this is because I'm actually going to use it for the next two baits. Look at this, bandito bug, oh my. Every single one of our baits comes in a clamshell. Look at that, always pop them all loose. Make sure you guys, if you guys are in Florida, probably use braid. If you guys are flipping trees, use 25 pound test. Probably not braid. I use 25 pound test when I'm flipping trees, but there you go. Put that sucker on there. I can smell that freaking slaunch sauce and it is tasty. Look at that, there we go. Sucker up. Oh my gosh, does that look tasty. Whew! Look at that thing. All right. So honestly, Scott Martin actually used this on a Carolina rig. I've never used this on a Carolina rig, so I'm gonna show you guys the way I flip it. Cause I think that this is a phenomenal, phenomenal flipping bait. We have caught so many 
<laughs> I'm talking like big, big bag, seven, eight, nine. Scott's caught a 10. Like, I don't know if you guys know this. Has, has Scott told you guys? Probably not. Off this right here. <sighs> Tasty. You ready? Look at that thing. Just flip it in and let it go all the way to the bottom. Let's give her a choo, choo. Dang, that looks so good. I'm gonna go in and swim it for them because they need to see the action on the appendages because it's just insane. Just imagine this, guys, coming up through tree limbs, up through grass, up through everything. But I'm just gonna swim it for you guys right here. Look at this. Whew! <laughs> I'm gonna throw those out there again because this just looks so good. Look at that. I'm gonna go and just swim it all the way through. Look at that. Okay, so Steven, just be, uh, Steven, I want you to be my tree, all right? You ready for this? Okay, You're right. gonna be my tree. I'm gonna flip to you. Look at that. You cannot tell me, as a flipping bait. Look at that. And I have a heavy weight on there too. Imagine if a light weight, lighter weight in four or five foot of water, just, Look at that. You like this bait? This is your favorite bait? Like this bait is stupid good. Look at that. Oh, I'm telling you guys right now. The bandito bug. I don't know how many of these are available currently on our website. It's it's really hard for me to tell you guys because I don't know the exact numbers, but if they're there, I'm telling you, gotta scoop them up. They're tasty. All right, so you know what? I've already got it tied up, so we're gonna go and throw out the crab and crawl. Tied up as in, I've already got a pegged weight on here, flipping hook and flipping weight. Oh, come on, don't ruin. There we go, good to go. Look, look how soft that plastic is. Look at that, soft and durable. Gosh dang, that's good. All right, crab and crawl. Another thing, this thing is gonna slide in and out if you guys are punching grass, if you guys are from the trees, you guys are flipping like really heavy duty trees with a lot of limbs, this is the bait you want right here. I'm telling you guys right now, this is the one you want because it doesn't have a lot of appendages, it's got two and it's golden, it's good to go. There we go. That's what you guys are wanting. Look how freaking straight that is. It is, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's great. If you guys wanna throw on a jig, you guys just chop off right to there, shove that son of a gun right on a jig, and it is an amazing trailer. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. You ready for this, Steven? This is actually one of my favorite baits, you know why? Versatility. Oh, whoop. Just wait till they see this thing underwater. This is, this is one of my favorite baits when it comes to versatility. I'm gonna throw it out there. I want to do a series where I go against myself, not, well, I say myself, but Googling Baits goes against every single other soft plastic company in the world. I, I, the thing is, is I'll be biased. I think we're the best in the world. I really do. I really think we are the best, but I'm going to do a series and I'm not going to commentate. I'm not going to do very much. I'm just going to kind of like, ah, here we go. We're going to flip out there. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Cause I, I, I seriously think we are the best thing. Just wait, Steven. Wait till you guys see this one underwater. It is, whew. Ah, here we go. First pitch, I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best baits we have to offer. It is so versatile. I'm gonna let it go all the way to the bottom, just so they understand. You ready? Pop, ooh, look at that. So the reason why I put the chest cam on is because I want you guys to understand the amount of movement it takes in your rod to actually make a bait move. Like, look at that. I'm not doing very much. And look how much the bait is moving. I'm telling you, the baits you guys purchase, you want it to work for you. You don't, you don't want to have to make the bait do its job. Just flip it out there. Oh my. Every time I look at this bait, it's just like, whew, taste it. Look at that. Ruh. You keep, <laughs> there's, there's no words for it. Like, look at the appendages on this thing. You just can't beat it. You cannot beat this bait. I'm telling you right now, this is not a copy. This is nothing. This is legit, like 100%. It took us over a year to build this kind of a product. Look at that. That is, every time I look at it, it just gets me going. Steven, what do you think? You uh, said that you, you told me the bandito bug was your favorite, but I look at this and I'm like, I know, no. I, I, I just seen the bandito I'm telling you, bug catch some like, Modern, I know, man. but I'm telling you, buddy, like right now, <laughs> wait, wait, wait till we get to the good part of the year where me and Rackley, this is all we use. We're just going to be like this. This is it. You're the bush. 
You the bush, you ready? You ready to be the bush? Okay. Just look. Me and Rackley are gonna do this. And when we let go to the bottom, guess what we're gonna do? That's it, right there. That's all we're gonna do. And this bait is gonna go. <laughs> telling you right now, that is a scrum diliumptious bait. And I'm telling you right now, I can't get over it, dude. But you see the appendages going. Yeah, Tell me, tell me what bait you think on the market is going to beat this one. Uh, There's not one. Looking at this one? There can't now be. We, now that we have it in the water, I know, we've been talking about this for a long yeah, time. Yeah, we've been talking but, about it. But like, now that we have it in the water, that one. Whew. You can't beat it. <laughs> I'm telling you. I know there's some guys commenting down below that are like, are guys and gals are like, nah, there's this beats it. No. I want to put them head to head and we are going to, Guggen Bates is going to take out every single competitor, 100%. I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to actually include the baits that were used in this video, not, not the bag of baits, but the actual baits themselves, I'm gonna include them with the rod. Yeah, the legit baits that were legitimately used in this video. I, oh, the smell, it gets me every time. It gets Got WD-40, WD-40. There's nobody behind Steven, I'm literally talking to nobody. Small production crew. Yeah, small production crew. <laughs> We got the quote unquote Mondo version, which is just a slim shake. And then we have the, the Dragon Drop, which is gonna be like the smaller version. I caught my personal best smallmouth on this bait a couple months ago. Let's go ahead and roll a clip of that, Steven. That dude, that is a freaking stud with smallmouth. Oh. oh, no, no. That's big. What? Got him? Oh. Got it, dude. Thank Welcome God. to the Gorilla Zoo. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's a tank. Definitely. What do you think? I think that's big, my biggest one. Yes. Yeah. Out there. <laughs> yeah. Here. <laughs> oh, that is, oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, that's a giant. Wow. So we caught the personal best smallmouth on this. We threw it on more of a, a Ned Rig style, which you can do. There, there's multiple, multiple, multiple ways to fish this. Like you can throw this as a uh, Ned Rig, like I, like I showed you a second ago. You can also throw this as a... a um, a drop shot, there's a drop shot. A wacky rig, you can throw this wacky rig. Same with this, you can throw this thing, wacky rig, bigger presentation. You can throw this as a uh, Texas rig, weightless. God, I know I was just talking about the bandito, but, or excuse me, the crack and crawl being the most versatile, but if I were to pick a bait that's probably gonna catch the most fish, not the biggest, but the most in the quantity fish, it's probably gonna be a slim shake. So first up, I'm gonna show you guys Texas rig. I'm gonna show you guys just straight up what I would do if you guys are brand new to fishing and we're looking for something that's like a like the most versatile bait that you can do just about anywhere as long as it's in chock full of grass. Chock full of grass, probably weightless, which I'll show you here in a second. There you go. This is a 316 ounce worm weight with a uh, four aught worm hook. You take this sucker just like this. Comes in a clamshell, keeps everything straight and perfect. Look at that. Oh my lands, look at that. Roll it. Woo! Straighten that sucker out. Not straight. Gotta be straight. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, Texas rig, just throw that sucker in there and just shake her. Just give her a good shake. Tail's gonna stick up, it's gonna wiggle like it's supposed to, just shake her on through. If you guys really want to get crazy with it, just drag her. Look at that. Drag her. Look at that tail sticking up. Just drag it. Whew. Whew. I don't think you guys realize when you guys pull this bait up, when you guys pop it just like this. I know Steven, Steven's struggling down there to try to swim for you. <laughs> try, to, try to swim for you guys. But when you guys pop it, the weight actually separates from the bait itself in the hook. And this thing does its own thing, which I'll show you guys here in a second. You ready, Steven? This is about to get crazy. About as crazy as you can get with a piece of soft plastic. All right, gonna flip it in there, let it fall. That's what I'm talking about. This, the weight is gonna separate from the hook in the soft plastic, look. And then zhugunk. See how the weight and hook are separated? Look at that, and you just give it a good old, just pop it, just pop it. Whew! You cannot tell me that's not gonna get soaked up by a bass's mouth. Oh, Texas rig, simple but effective. I promise you right now, if you guys are looking to catch a lot of fish, this is one of the best baits to use right there. A lot of you guys are up north and you guys are gonna be using drop shots a lot. Well, don't worry, we got you covered. Right here, you guys are about to witness one of the most succulent drop shot baits ever. 
And you're probably asking yourself, why do you know it's so succulent? Well, like I said a little bit ago, I caught my personal best. Small mouth on our baits. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh, drop shot, all you do is just flick it in and let it sit on the bottom. Now you flick it in, you let it go down, you keep tension, and you just shake her. You just give her a good shake. Just shake her on through the zhink. It's probably one of the easiest ways to fish, but I'm telling you, it's one of the most effective ways when you're up north to catch smallmouth and or largemouth. I'm telling you right now, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Shikunk, shikunk, shikunk. So remember, when you guys are hooking this thing up, hook it through the front of the face. It'll keep that bait. It's flat on the bottom or round on top, so it'll keep that bait flat in the water when you're bringing it towards you. I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's pretty, pretty crucial. Ooh, look at that, look how easy it is. All you do is let it go to the bottom and just give her a dangle. Just jangle it towards you. Jangle, jangle, dangle, jiggle, dangle, jingle, dangle. Yeah. Gosh dang, that's absolutely amazing. One more again. One more again with that thing because it looked too good. Just imagine you being a bass and seeing that coming in front of you. You ain't, you're not going to let that thing go by you without eating it. Jingle, jangle. Oh my gosh, look at that. Whew. Steven, that is tasty. Gosh dang, that is tasty. Look at that. So one of the other ways I would actually fish the slim side, because you guys will see there's like a gap where you guys see a little crustacean dilly bobs right there. And then there's a, a little a little gap right there. I would go to the back of the gap, put the put your 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 weightless hook or your wacky rig hook right through the top. And that is that right there. Oh my. Just just trust me, you'll see it in the water. I'm gonna pretend Steven's a uh, old cypress tree. I'm like, you know what? They're on cypress trees. I'm gonna flip it to Steven. Shagunk. Look at that bait. Let it do its thing. Let it just fall. Give it like five seconds or so, you know what I mean? Weightless and just do. Do do. That thing looks amazing. Steven, I'm gonna flip it again to you because that thing just looks too tasty. I know, let it slowly fall. It's slow and it's, it's, it's just like, you know what, just eat me bass and you just hit it with a do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Can't take it, can't take it. There's so many ways to rig these baits. I know I can't really go over them all at once. So I know I have not done one of these in quite a long time. I hope you guys do it, enjoy it. I have myself and of course, Steven to help, to help me out. He's, he's doing all Steven things, but I'm glad I got to do this and show you guys all the work that we have put into this and you guys got to see the baits actually move underwater and know why they work and why we put so much time into them. So if you guys want to snag some, there's only, I don't want to say limited quantities, but it is kind of a limited quantity for the next couple weeks. So if you guys want to snag some and make sure you guys get them, there's, no, there's not a pre-order. They'll be shipped out currently, like ne literally next day if you guys order right now. They'll be shipped out the next morning. So if you guys want to snag some, they'll be linked at the very top of the description. Myself and all the guys have put a lot of time into making these and it I'm, I'm glad we get to finally share them with you guys on a more personal level and you guys get to see them underwater doing the badass things they do so steven successful day yes sir good day if you guys want to win that rod leave a comment down below i love you guys and i will see you i'll see you tomorrow so you guys know the deal. click that video right there if you haven't seen them and hey click the one right below if you haven't already subscribe right now. I'm the pain.